because she believed, maybe in the interval her faith wavered, maybe she justified it by saying maybe I don't want it, or in some strange way tried to explain it away. But it still, in its own good time, came to the surface. I ask you not to throw your dreams away and feel that they are impossible of realization in this strange drab world of external facts. So tonight, let me share with you a few stories. Seven years ago, a lady, she's not here tonight, she's now on a new job and is taken away for a while. But when she heard it, that imagining creates reality, she said to herself, well, if that is so, I would like to go to Egypt. She had no money. She's never been a lady of means, always working, small sums of money, could never accumulate what it would take to make the trip. And so, the usual story, she told her dream. She didn't keep it to herself, she told it. Nothing wrong in it. If you really believe it, you can tell it. If you don't tell men before, will men believe you after the event? He may question your honesty. But if you tell him before the event, then he is assured because actually you have a witness to the fact you did tell him before the event. So that is also in scripture. And now I will tell you before it takes place that when it does take place, you may believe. For that is courage in the depth of the soul where one knows the imaginal act is a fact at the very moment of the act, though not yet seen by the outer man. But not everyone has that courage and that faith in the imaginal act. So she told him. And naturally her brains criticized them. It is stupid to go to that man, you waste your money. It's not religion. What is it? He is telling you that an assumption, though false, if persisted in, will harden into fact. Well, that's stupid. It doesn't make sense. To them, a true judgment must conform to the external fact to which it relates. So if I say, well, isn't a lovely dog, and there is no dog to bear witness to my judgment, my judgment is false. So that's what they gathered from what she told them that I am teaching. And so the whole thing is insane. It's stupid. Well, the years went on. It's been several years now. And this is what happened this past week. She got a job. She's a nurse, and so the job moves around. She goes from home to home where the need is there. And so she found herself in the environment or the neighborhood of a friend she had not seen or contacted in a year. She had exchanged a birthday card and a Christmas greeting with a little note on the card. But no telephone call and no other contact. Finding herself in the neighborhood, she calls her. When the strain heard her voice on the wire, she said, oh, Jan, you can have it, you can have it. She said, all right, all right, I'll take it, what is it? And then this is the story. There was a party, a pre lenten party at the hotel, Hilton, some Mardi Gras by a Catholic society, the Joseph and Mary Society. There were dough prizes. The major prize was a 30-day trip, first class, all expenses paid, stopping along the way at the Hilton Hotels in the Near East. And Egypt is part of the setup. The lady and her family had spent several months last year abroad and had no desire this year to go abroad again. In fact, they've already arranged to go to New York City for the World's Fair, which opens in April. So a trip abroad is out. Furthermore, this ticket, this door ticket, only accepts one person, not a group, not a family. So that was what her friends said to her she would give her. Jan said, all right, I'll take it. And then called me up to tell me the story. Delayed, seemingly, seven years. She still now has her ticket, if she wants it, to the Near East where Egypt is included, and she goes first class, all expenses paid, but everything paid. Because she believed, maybe in the interval her faith wavered, maybe she justified it by saying maybe I don't want it, or in some strange way tried to explain it away. 
it still in its own good time came to the surface. I ask you not to throw your dreams away and see that they are impossible of realization in this strange drab world of external facts. Every dream can come true if I can get through to you that your imagination is God and that your imaginal act when you think of a friend carrying on the conversation, that is Jesus Christ in action. Everyone here will find the real Jesus Christ. The real Jesus Christ is your own wonderful human imagining. Examine yourself to see whether you are holding to your faith. Test yourself. The real God is your own wonderful, lovely imagination. When you say, I am, that's God.